Do you love setting goals and having targets in your business? Or do you find that the concept of it seems amazing, but actually you can just never quite find the right fit for you. You can never work out how to create goals or targets that feel realistic, that feel inspiring, that feel motivating to you. Well, this is what I want to talk to you about today because something I have seen for sure over the years is that when my clients set targets and they set goals that they feel genuinely connected to, they make a huge difference to how they progress and how fast they progress in their business. But I also recognize that for lots of people, it's a real challenge. Um, We're not necessarily a natural goal setting society. It's not really part of our culture. And sometimes it can feel a bit egotistical or it just feels a little bit generic. You know, how do I know what are the absolute right goals for me? So I'm hoping to give you a little bit of inspiration about that today. Um, And actually, The inspiration is super simple or the plan is super simple. The most important question that you need to ask yourself to create goals that are absolutely connected and will motivate you is what does success look and feel like to you? That's the only thing that really counts when it comes to setting your goals. It's your definition of success. Now, it's really easy to look at other people and um, see people that appear to be doing amazing things in their business and think, I want to be like them. But actually, you could be them and find that you weren't very happy with it because that's their goal and not yours. So, So that's the real challenge for you here is taking enough time and asking yourself to think deeply enough to recognize what does success genuinely truly look like to me and that may well be financial for plenty of people that is financial it's rarely about a number it's more likely to be about financial freedom um, financial security the ability to um, invest in a team the ability to um, invest in your family invest in university fees There's lots of different elements to that. But the key thing is, there isn't a one size fits all answer. But the the success measure is not a perfect number that fits for everybody. So is your primary motivation for the next year to increase the financial position of your business? Is that what will actually underpin all of the other things that you're looking to build in your life and your business? It could be, though, that financially your business is doing great and personally finances are absolutely great. But your business might be taking over your life. Um, It might feel as though you just never have a minute to breathe. You never have time for friends or family or personal development or stuff that you really want to do. Um, So actually, the, the goal for you and success for you might look like greater balance. It might look like having to work less or it might just be getting a feeling of calm and control in your business. The the ideal position for you might be that you can sit at the end of 2023 and reflect on a year where business has felt easy, where it feels like there is flow, where it doesn't feel like there's enormous pressure on you constantly, and it doesn't feel like there's a huge amount of inconsistency. Um, It may also be that goals for you are about who you work with and what you do. It might be that a key part of your purpose is around creating value or um, having impact, in which case that will then have a knock on effect and tell you that your goals should be around who you work with, around the kind of products and services that you deliver and around how you actually create and deliver value. So the crucial question, as I say, is what does success look like to you? Because that's the key point that all of your goals will then spin from. In my video last week, I talked through almost a template for how you can review your year. You can use the same template to think about your goals for the year. Once you absolutely know what success looks like, then you can go back to last week's video and you can think about things like your finances, your customers, your products and services, your marketing, your systems, and you can create specific targets for those that are going to lead you to the absolute ultimate measure of success for you. Um, So in many ways, setting goals is probably an awful lot simpler than it's often made out to be. It doesn't have to be complex. You don't need 8 million measurements. You don't have to have smart goals. Um, A goal 
is a goal if it inspires you if it feels like something that inspires you if it's genuinely something you absolutely want to achieve if it's something that's going to motivate you to stay on track then that's the right goal for you in your business and that degree of connection and motivation that's the most important thing in terms of setting goals that are actually going to motivate you and help you achieve the amazing things in your business that you are absolutely capable of. So I hope that's given you a little flash of inspiration. If you are sitting, listening to this and thinking, that all sounds great, but I'm still clueless about what my goals are, then drop me a message and let's have a chinwag because I absolutely love helping people set goals that they find inspiring, motivating, that's gonna really help them ramp up the business. So give me a shout if you would love to work with me on that. Mm -hmm.